nothing validates the narcissist. Nothing gives them a sense of purpose like knowing they can break apart other people. Especially those who were previously shining bright, those who were previously confident, proud, and full of all these positive qualities. And when the narcissist breaks the person down, they want to keep the person in a broken place for a long time, preferably forever. Here's the thing. Narcissists are attracted to people with these qualities initially because the person compliments the narcissist in the areas where the narcissist, narcissist is lacking. So the narcissist feels good by associating with these qualities, even if in another person, at the beginning anyway. You know, the person is genuine, carries a, a sense of genuine upliftment. The person is likable, has real empathy, and probably many other qualities. But associating with somebody with these qualities only makes the narcissist feel good for so long. And then very soon the narcissist feels triggered by the person. And it's not just the narcissist being triggered, but they're then living in a state of ongoing, this ongoing state of feeling triggered once they realize they cannot possess the person's qualities. You know, narcissists, they, they easily fall into this victimhood mindset, thinking like a little baby, like, you know, why can the other person have this and I can't? Why can't the other person, why can the other person feel good and I can't? Why can the other person have friends and, and know how to be nice and I can't? So it just doesn't seem fair to the narcissist that they can't be like the other person, even though the reason the narcissist isn't like that person it is their own doing. There's no one to blame but the narcissist. But that's not how they see it. They see themselves as being a victim. And narcissists hate being on the losing end. And that's what they feel. They feel they're on the losing end. And that's why they feel they need to level the score. So they start devaluing the person, chipping away the person's self-respect, self self-esteem, until the narcissist has managed to turn the person into an empty, fragile shell of the person they once were. Now the narcissist feels good. So, since narcissists can't win playing fair, they instead win by playing very dirty. And once they play dirty and they've devalued the person sufficiently, turn the person into that shell, there's nothing left to be offered. And that's when the narcissist realizes that, you know, they don't need the person. Now the person can just be discarded for good. But if the narcissist discards that person, if the narcissist leaves, and then the person, let's say the person soon shows signs they were not badly broken, or maybe the person quickly heals back into the person they once were, maybe even a stronger person. If the, if the narcissist sees that they were not able to keep the person in a sufficiently broken place, the fact that that person is now bouncing out of that, again, that triggers the narcissist. Because the narcissist, again, has that feeling of losing. Like, how can that person, who was once their object, be in a better place than them? So the narcissist gets these urges to want to level the playing field once again. And they just can't resist those urges. Depending on the facts and circumstances, sometimes narcissists don't act on these urges, at least not immediately, but they feel them strongly. And they just need to destroy the other person. I mean, in their head, they're not thinking, oh, I want to destroy the other person. In their head, they're thinking, oh, I need to feel better about myself and I'm a victim, so I'm going to put this person in their rightful place. You know, the narcissist in their mind, they're not doing anything evil because they have no empathy, which means they don't care about other people's suffering because they have this grandiose sense of entitlement and because they have this pathological need to always be winning, for them it's just natural. 
And it's likely that the person can probably even feel the narcissist energy at this point. It's like you can feel somebody's willing to make the way back in. And it doesn't feel good because it feels predatorial. You feel somebody wants to take you down, even if you can't see it physically and you can't work out how they're going to do it exactly. But you know something just tells you that you've triggered somebody because, because you're, you're holding your head up high. That's enough to trigger somebody to want to take you down. So at that point, when you're starting to heal and bounce out of this, this dark place, you need to have watertight boundaries. You need to keep the predator away. The narcissist has nothing good to offer you. But they want to take everything that you might have. So don't entertain them. <laughs>